Zucchini, the Z of the alphabet of vegetables and fruit. This is actually a fruit because it has the seed, it's the seed pod for a plant. And it is available through the summer. We eat it as an immature fruit so that we don't have to peel it. The skin and the meat inside are of the same texture. Now, a lot of people think of zucchini. They also think of the yellow crookneck squash. They come off at the same time during the summer and some people mix them together. But today we're really gonna focus mostly on the zucchini. Zucchini is very prolific. If you've ever had a garden and you've had zucchini, you've had zucchini, a lot of zucchini. And you know that it can get very large. The seeds inside get very large and it's not totally edible like it is now. The other way you can purchase zucchini is in a can. They have the um, zucchini mixed with tomatoes and that's very popular in the Egyptian countries as well as in Italy. This one I think is Italian, Italian style tomatoes. So that's one way you can have it on the shelf. So the basic thing that we need to do is wash it when we get it home, actually when we start to use it, not when we get it first home. And I'm gonna show you how to do the basic preparation. So the first thing we want to do is cut off the end that had the stem and we'll cut off the other end that had the flower because this is part of the flower of the fruit. Now if you cut it right down the middle, you can open it up and see what's inside. And you see these little seeds there? Barely can see them, but they get really large if you leave the plant growing. So. One of the best ways is to put it on the grill. And what I do is I slice it twice. And then I do the other one. And you can eat zucchini raw. Some people don't like it raw because it has this little stuff that oozes out. You see it right there? It's oozing out. And some people think that's more like a little pitch instead of a flavorful thing but it's very good for you all. So what we're gonna do here is, to get it on the grill, you need some oil. So what I do is I just take the plate and I put whatever my favorite oil is, or it could be like an Italian dressing, um, you know, something that's got oil in it. And then what you do is you just hit both sides with the oil, and you can lay them on a grill, indoors or out, and cook them. And that's one of the, so it doesn't take very long to cook them. I'm going to put another one on right here, and you can put it up either way. You're going to have to turn them over at one point or another. And then this one has, this, there's no skin on either side. Um, it makes it really nice to have it with your meats um, on the grill. So that is a very easy way to cook uh, the zucchini. But now let's talk about doing it indoors and the really basic, besides cooking it. I mean, just by, I'm sorry besides just eating it. So again, we're gonna take off the ends. And now, one of the easiest ways to do this is to steam it. And when I steam it, I kinda like to have the pieces a little bigger. Um, you can also, so I cut it into fourths. And you could also steam these out on the grill if you have one of those burners on your outdoor grill. And then I usually cut them into about thirds and make them kind of the same size so they'll all steam at the same time. So I, then I take these and I put them on the colander. And I've got the fire going on this one. And you put the lid on. And it'll take five, ten minutes. They're not, it doesn't take very long to cook them at all. And you don't want to overcook them because they get pretty mushy. You know, they're mainly just this meat, that this immature fruit, and it's absolutely delicious, and it, it tastes great with salt and pepper added to it. Now, if you wanted to, you can saute it. And I'll show you the best way to prepare it for sauteing is probably slices. And so you just want to slice it and kind of make them the same size now if you notice, this zucchini gets bigger as it goes on, so that means it's a bit more mature than the other one was that I did that was pretty flat. But you just slice this up, you melt some butter or one of your favorite oils in a pan, and then you can go ahead and add some salt and pepper to them before, 
or not. You can add the salt and pepper afterwards. And then if you wanted to, after you got these really kind of translucent, you could add some canned tomatoes to it and you would make your another side vegetable. So now that I got this sliced up, I'm going to put them in my pan. Oops, where I have oh, my I have butter there and it's been melting. And then what we want to do is just stir them around to be sure everybody gets coated with the oil. And it's going to take about the same amount of time as it did for steaming, five to ten minutes. And I usually leave mine open when I do this because then it's like really easy. The really nice thing about the summer squashes, including zucchini, is that they are inexpensive all summer long. And the other thing you can do is get, you can put these onto um, a skewer and put them on with other vegetables on the grill or in the oven. Um, the, the texture of the zucchini is solid all the way through. As you saw, it didn't matter if we started here or here. It's all the same all the way through. Now that's not the case with the yellow squash, which some people think that they are just, you know, like the same thing. But if you cut a yellow squash in half, it's not the same. It has seeds at the bottom, and they're bigger to start with. So they are very different. So if you have people that don't like to feel seeds or a little texture, the zucchini is a squash is a way to go. Now it's available through the summer. It usually starts coming out in May and it goes all the way until September and they look really nice. To choose one, you want to be sure that it's smooth, not wrinkled, not ding. This one's perfect. This is about the, the best size. After about eight inches, they can start getting harder and make it less likely that it look, tastes like a zucchini. Uh, the other thing is you want to be sure that the color is pretty even all the way around. One side is usually lighter in color because of where it was laying. But this is a great vegetable. Actually, it's a fruit, but we treat it like a vegetable. So go to my website. I have a lot more information about zucchini. And then you can try it some, some new way in your home.